right, Dale, what are we doing? We are getting ready to go to Wyoming, and we're actually going to try to get some big bulls with our rifles that can shoot more than 50 to 80 yards. But first, we're going to go opposite directions, right? No, yeah, that's true. My brother's got an antelope tag that he finally drew after, I think, 15 or so years, and so I didn't feel right about not trying to help him get a big buck. So I'm going to head down there. So Josh is going to Wyoming, I'm going to Southern Colorado, and I'm going to hopefully help him tag out in one day, and then I'm going to turn around and drive five hours here, sleep over, and then drive another seven hours that way. And it's going to be a week full of hunting. We're, we're getting our miles in today. Got the Toho, Tahoe all loaded up to the gills, including a freezer. So next week will be a lot of fun, hopefully a lot of animals. Well, all right. We, uh exchanged freezers I'm taking one up Dale's bringing the other one up here in a couple days he's heading south like he said I'm heading north and oh by the way not only are there are three major wildfires in Colorado there's now a new one just by Laramie 100,000 acres in just a few days so that is not smog that is northern Colorado right now and this is a good day sometimes you can't even see more than a couple hundred yards so and even though we're going all the way up into northern Wyoming last time we were up hunting up there it was the California fires were smoky like that so 2020 wildfires hunting in the smoke pretty crazy <laughs> miles later getting close I think we're in the right spot when this is what you see driving in perfect I love Wyoming more back here in the trees. This fulfills the other half of my tag that I'm looking for but these are all females but four elk and two deer on the drive in only in three miles I am liking this place we're made to the cabin and we have a friend who wants to come join us inside Finishing up the day in a burn, looking for some deer. I actually jumped a couple antelope, four antelope. That's kind of weird. 
and then a little bit further we saw a doe and a fawn and the third one split off we're hoping it's a buck that's what we're looking at the doe and the fawn went up the ridge to the right up this way and there's another one that went off this way it's super hard to glass through this stuff so let's see if we can't spot them up before the sun goes down Well, we did see six deer. We tried really hard to grow some antlers on them, but if they had any, they were too small for us to see at 400 yards, so cool burn area. I'll have to come back and check it out again for another deer hunt. That's all for tonight. Day number two, hiking into a new area. It's pretty rugged. up on top of this trail, big park, I'm sitting back, classing this, I guess, western face to see if I can pick up either a mule deer or bull pushing timber line. So, sorry, what we're seeing, the sun's kind of bright. There's timber line up there. About 600, 700 yards away. Just glassing these different shoots to see if we can see anything coming out and feeding. I picked up one elk up high up Timberline on the way in. He's about 2,000 yards away, so it's fun to see him now. And a pretty big open park here to my left. Someone wants to step out. Spectacular basin, beautiful area up here. Nice way to spend the morning. Orchid horn. You don't see the one now, right? Yeah, he's looking back though. The other one's coming. Probably. Where's your big brother at? Your uncle. Yeah. Or your daddy. Or your granddaddy. There he goes. Okay. guys, just finished up my brother's antelope hunt. He was successful, so check out that uh, YouTube video. Got a nice buck, about 300 yards. And uh, so anyway, that was a five hour drive down south, Colorado, southern Colorado. Now I'm heading north in Wyoming for about a six hour drive. And uh, super excited to spend a whole week trying to get a big bull with my rifle instead of uh, using my bow like I tried a few weeks ago. And uh, check out that video. Got a lot of good bugling. That was the most chuckling bull I've ever heard. 
and uh, it's like he's laughing at us and we chased him for a couple hours finally got up on him finally could see him had a nice shot at would have been 145 yards so needless to say I did not take that shot with my bow however my muzzle loader I would have considered it for sure and my rifle but no problem so let's just hope that happens again on this trip look what, look what the cack drug in all the way from southern Colorado driving all day yesterday and all day today I'm gonna go drop into this burn and see what we can see tonight before the sun goes down a little windy not like what you like but see what happens well Nate's up here in Wyoming we're hiking in for a short hour evening hunt Josh has got a deer talk to book we'll see what we see We glassed up some elk. One looked like a small five point or four point. Heard him about a thousand yards away. Got the elk spotted 525 yards across that far ridge, running out of light. Dale setting up for a shot. up on this ridge right here. Is he right up on top of the rock, Dale? Yeah, but they're all in the group. There's three of them all over. Yeah, there's three cows, three cows and a bull. Okay. One's blowing a little bit to the left or the right, but not much. They're on the top of the rocks, right? Yep, that's where I see them. Group of three of them, right? Yep. Right on top of the white rocks. That's what I'm seeing. I zoom in too much, it goes dark. He's walking to the right. I can't see that good. I can just barely see it's an elk. Is a cluster of elk legs all in a batch. Yeah. Just stay on them. Let's we'll see if it. They give us a shot. They give us a shot. If not, oh well. We know they're in here. Just they were in the thick trees, and you just couldn't spot them in the thick trees with this little light. So, 
cool little burn area. I'll have to come back and try it again another evening. Jim spotted up a buck. By the same time, he spotted up the bull. So maybe we can get some. This is actually really close to where we're staying. Good, good job for you, too. You spot 250. Oh, man. Well, it's good to see some animals. Bring some more action back to you. A lot of fun. You can see the sun's going down. We ran out of light. Bull just bugled. I'm not sure if you heard that or not. But he's bugling in here. That is awesome. So what is it? September 5th? 4th? 5th? October, excuse me. October 4th or 5th? He was chasing those cows, dude. Oh, yeah. Is that how you spotted them? Mm-hmm. Well, Dale spotted them. He was chasing those bulls, or those cows around. <coughs> oh, how's that for a teaser, Dale? Welcome to Wyoming, bud. What do you have to say about that? That was a close call. That was very close. Ten minutes. Ten minutes, that bull had had a shot in him. adventures tomorrow. His, his bull, keeps, bull keeps bugling at us. Oh my goodness. Just a couple more minutes of light. Is that always the way? I think we have to just come here in the morning. Good yeah, point. Maybe. Good point. I'm up for it. Will said it was just really windy this morning, so yeah. I've been like that and see anything. <coughs> I'm still coughing from sprinting up this hill. Oh man, I about died. I thought I was going to yeah, We closed 500 yards in a hurry. There was some steep stuff. We gotta get out of here. Let's get out of here. Alright, we'll come back to you tomorrow. Hopefully more action in the morning.